Hey guys, Lolu here. Since Windows 7 support is ending in nine in nine days, oh no, in eight days, I decided to compare Windows 7 Professional to Windows 7 Ultimate. Let's fire both virtual machines on. So let's launch Google Chrome. Let's do an Office Pro and let's do Word 2010. Windows 7 Ultimate doesn't include Windows Anytime Upgrade, and on Windows Update includes all all language packs. The Windows 7 Ultimate Start Menu, and here it's just like the Windows 7 Home Premium Smart Menu, except for this Microsoft Security Test because I installed it, and Remote Desktop Connection is in Start Menu on Windows. Uh, Alt 7 Ultimate and Windows 7 Home Premium, it has getting started, Windows Media Center, Calculator, Sticky Notes, Snipping Tool, Paint, Magnifier, and Solitaire by default. And let's take a look at the specs. Let's look at the experience index. As you can see, for Windows 7 Professional, processor is 5.6, memory is 4.5, graphics is 3.4, gaming graphics is 3.9, and primary hard disk is 7.1. For the ultimate version, processor is 5.7, memory is 4.5 again, graphics is 3.6, gaming graphics is 4, and primary hard disk is 86.9. Anyways, that's I'm just about wrapping up this video. Let's go and log out and then shut down from there. I already did a video on comparing Windows 7 starter to a basis to a premium, and I already did a video on upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10.
Windows 7 Ultimate is in first place this time, and then Windows 7 Professional is in second place. Anyways, bye, have a nice day, and have a spectacular day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.